Welcome back. In this section, we'll be talking about airport runway designators and signage, how to interpret left or right traffic patterns, and the last bit of information, which is CETUS, Security Identification Display Areas. The remote pilot in command must be aware of all traffic patterns and approach corridors for runways and landing areas. This includes emergency services with helicopters, such as hospitals. Runway designators are numbers and letters. They determine the approach and direction of the runway. These numbers are one-tenth of the magnetic azimuth and are measured clockwise from the magnetic north. So, 22 really means 220 degrees, 08 means 80 degrees, and 35 means 350 degrees. Parallel runways will be designated with L for left, C for center, and R for right. Pretty easy. All right, runway signage. And yeah, it's on the exam. We'll go through these one by one. It does require some memorization, though. The first one is a runway runway intersection. Runway 4 intersecting with runway 22. Pretty easy, right? Next, we have runway approach hold position. Then we have instrument landing critical hold position. And the last one, you should know this no entry. The yellow here indicates boundaries and destinations. We have ILS critical area boundary terminal destination, outbound destination for takeoff runways, and we have runway exit for direction and designation of exit taxiway from the runway. Here with the yellow and black, we have the taxiway location, indicating that the aircraft is on taxiway B. Again, we have another yellow with black, indicating runway location, the aircraft is on runway 22. We also have runway safety area boundary, again yellow and black. The black square with the white number indicates runway distance that is remaining in 1,000 foot increments. Next up is the hold short, which requires two-way radio communication. And for the last one, we have the taxiway ending marker. All airports have traffic patterns of left turn or right turn. And unless stated otherwise, flight patterns for airports will be left turn on VFR sectional charts. If an airport is a right turn pattern, it will be identified with the RP, usually below the communications and weather frequencies on the VFR sectional chart. This graphic is fairly straightforward, but you should commit to memory the crosswind leg, the downwind leg, the base leg, and final approach. Next up is the airport CETA, or security identification display areas. These are areas with limited access that require a badge. Movement through or into these areas is prohibited without proper identification. <laughs>